Let's switch out this Harold now. Put the sand hook back on. So sand hook, Pimpernel. Only the ancients. And the magic missile. Just got that, uh, just got that bonehead taken care of as the phase lock wore off. I was trying to get him down while well, I still had the opportunity to with the phase lock. These rats aren't too tanky. Just one burst from the sandhawk took them down. Another wave, probably boneheads. No blaster nomad there. Silence. They're not very strong. That must have hurt. missed with that burst as he survived that rat grenade I was expecting more boneheads as a surveyor here. Easier to target the surveyors when they come out, when they first get constructed. They're not ADSing. Oh, there's a Badass later, right in front of me. Quiet. Usually the loaders go down pretty fast once you have them phase locked, but that guy was tanky enough to withstand quite a few shots. Boneheads in their grenades. You won't this. Time. Not the surveyor. Loading loader on the left, on the right hand side. And then an enemy stuck in the corner. Always awkward to get these enemies because once you kill them you get exposed to the next wave spawning in. More bone, the more bone is there, and a surveyor I've got to be careful of too. Now I would like to get rid of the surveyor next, but I don't think I'll have the chance to. Please stop. 
Let's get some magic missiles going here. Slag some of these enemies that are just around the corner. So we've got that surveyor. See if I can still power through and get rid of this bonehead. Do the surveyor healing. So hopefully the chain reaction took care of that surveyor as well. I think it might have actually. I guess that's one good thing about the chain reaction skill. Is if there's a surveyor hovering around healing, they're probably going to eat a lot of those chain reaction bullets while you take care of another enemy. I'll go for the surveyor first. Such a big difference in fire rate when you don't have the bigger face lock active. Okay, another bone shredder. A shock one. I don't have a lot of shock weapons, so it might actually be worth holding on to that shock bone shredder, maybe. I've got the slagger. Well, I guess I don't really need a slag bone shredder. I would like to experiment with these. They're probably... Probably rubbish, but... Still wouldn't mind experimenting with them. Like this is rubbish. IP2. Don't wow. need that. So what was this blue? That was a class mod we can't use. Yeah, a lot of these ammo boxes are going to be open. Because I did not save quit in between attempts. So not using shotguns at all. I think I do have a conference call back in the Sanctuary Bank there. Don't know how useful that would be. The Digistruct Peak, the conference call. Maybe for the bosses. Maybe for the bot bosses it might be useful, but... I don't know if it would be useful for the uh, assassin arena part. You'd think having a nice shotgun would be useful for that part. Because it's so cramped. That's the uh, Torg Assault Rifle we dropped the previous run. A rocket torpedo. I'll leave that behind. I guess it's only a blue one anyway. Won't be that useful. Won't be that useful at this point. I saw another purple item next to this. Bonehead, so probably another shredder. Would be five, I can leave that behind. So at least we can get ammo from these boxes. So let's just double check what we're using here. We'll start off like this, and we can always switch it up if we need to. Get a magic missile off early. Hey, these particular spider ants are very tanky. Okay, let's go ahead and put the uh, Harold on. Maybe even throw the Sheriff's badge on as well.
trying to get rid of some of these enemies. Slag spider ants are a real handful, very tanky those slag spider ants. Alright, we do have a moment here, we can go back to the sandhawk. Something's coming in fast. Got rid of the surveyor. Doc Mercy's coming in, another surveyor. You really want to get rid of the surveyor first. Now the Doc Mer I've got another surveyor and a Doc Mercy here. Okay, just me and the Doc Mercy now. Wait for the phase lock to cool off. Hopefully, don't get tagged by a grenade. Now, constructor. I'm getting some chain reaction here happening for the constructor at least. Surveyor spawning in, but I really want to get rid of this. Dr. Mercy first. Why do I finish off this Dr. Mercy here? Bunch of rockets coming through. hectic. That slag spider ant was a real real problem. I wasn't able to take him out before he got got on top of me. Another infinity. Seven. I think I have an OP7 infinity at the moment. Oh that's a six. Well let's just drop that one. We'll take the seven. Proof booster shield, blue one. Luckily the surveyors weren't too much of a problem there. I was worried they were just going to pummel me, but they didn't. Not sure what more you can do with those slag spider ants to try to take them out before they get get on top of you. 
Maybe you could use Singularity yeah, Grenade to pull them away. Now, generally there's one surveyor that'll spawn in here. There he is. Looks like he's flown off to uh, heal one of the other enemies. Enemies are de-aggroed. Where is this guy? There he is. Oh. He got a volley off. And my shields recharge. So I have to remember there is a surveyor around here. Oh, now he's flying off. I might just wait for him just in case he attacks me here. No, he's happy to uh, heal this other enemy. Hold it. Another surveyor? No, it looks like a bandit. I thought that was a surveyor to begin with. Oh, there is a surveyor here. The surveyor's flying very weird. Okay, that was a very weird, awkward little battle there. Surveyor was just like skimming the ground. They don't normally do that. I suppose he might have been just trying to heal, trying to heal that uh, that marauder there. Just had some weird pathing trying to access that marauder. So let's go ahead and uh, switch this up. Hmm. Shock Bone of the Ancients. Shock Pimpernel. I can't see myself having time to use a Sandhawk. I mean, I'm kind of thinking maybe the, even the B Shield might be a bad idea. I guess I, I guess I just have to go for the pipe. Just hide behind the pipe. And the Tesla maybe. This one's Wreath. Hmm. I guess maybe just staying, staying outside, you probably have to do it that way. Maybe just forget about the bee shield altogether there. That might be the best idea. Let's try to do it without the bee shield. Anywhere 
So I get some more ammo here. More rockets. So, I guess the top me is five, as is the Herald. Probably should save quit first anyway. Maybe we should get a new launcher, that might be useful. Let's get a new launcher, get an OP-7 launcher. Because I almost got him, almost got Wreath there with the launcher. Didn't quite have enough DPS to do it. Guns! I got them, you need them. Don't have too much fun. So let's get the uh, toothpick and retainer here. We'll get another launcher. Do we have any? Oh, we've got a little bit of space. We can drop off some stuff. So let's sort by type. I don't think we need a slag lady fist, so we can throw that into the bank. OP for judge, we don't need that. Keep that infinity. Not sure about these bone shredders, but I'll keep them for now. Now, these are Blood of the Ancients. I don't know if I'm ever going to use these. That's got SMG ammo and pistol ammo boost, which seems useful. Maybe I'll keep these around. This Bullet Class, Bullet Witch Class mod, I'm not using that. I've got another witch class mod. We probably don't need both of those. Let me just check which which witch is better. Kinetic reflection and flicker or oh so they're both very similar there. I guess kinetic reflections are more useful. So we'll take this other one back and sell it. So what else can I throw into the bank for now? Rough Rider, we're not using that at the moment. I will keep the Rough Rider because we might, might farm for some other stuff. Deputy's badge we're not using. But we'll keep it just in case. Actually, we do have... Let's just take out this conference call. See what other weapons we have here. A 
have a look at these cleric class mods. So this one is reload speed, fire rate, magazine size, fire rate, suspension, restoration. So what do I currently have? Yeah, I probably don't need it. Reload speed, fire rate, suspension, life tap. And what am I currently holding? Critical damage fire rate, that's probably more useful. Keep that one. Alright. So what we actually came here for was... Oh, we already have it. Rough Rider. Oh, that's right. It's in the it's in the stash. The items I'm looking for are in the stash. So let's grab those ones. Toothpick. to drop something to make a room with a retainer. So I can drop this judge. There's something else I wanted to get rid of too. This relic here, this witch class mod. Oh, yeah, this witch class mod. Okay, let's go and get a new launcher. And might as well pick up another Harold as well. Our Harold is OP5. How much Iridium do we have? 95, not quite enough. Going to the burrows, get ourselves a new launcher. Throw on the toothpick and the retainer there. Hello, silver cacti. I'm doing very well, thank you. We're up to OP7. Trying to get up to OP8 with Digistruct Peak. I'm just farming for a new launcher now. See if I can get a replacement for my top near. I have an OP5 top near at the moment, so I'll see if I can get a replacement for it. Slipped off there. I was trying to jump off of that that angle, but it was too steep an angle to jump off of. Is there a glitch location for this boss? 
There could be. I haven't really tried to to kill this boss, so I don't really know don't really know the good locations to stand for this boss. I just come here to get the launchers. There probably is. I'm sure there's some nice location you can stand for this boss. But to uh, oh, slipped off. But to access this uh, launcher chest, you don't have to kill the boss, so that's nice. Yeah, there's a hidden chest up the top of this cliff here. Yeah, so if you are, if you have the toothpick assault rifle and the retainer shield equipped, then you run faster and jump higher. And then you can, and then with both of those, you can actually climb up here and access this uh, hidden chest up here. So once you get up here, there's a hidden chest here. And this chest always spawn, always uh, spawns launchers. So then you can just farm this particular wow. chest here, trying to get the launcher that you want. So a TDO launcher. I think maybe it only maybe this only spawns E Tech launchers too. Yeah, so this is a nice way to get nice way to get a uh, a good e-tech launcher and one nice thing about it is you don't have to fight any don't have to fight anyone you can just climb up here without having to fight anyone. I don't know if you like multiplayer, but I would do a new playthrough with you once you've finished with Maya, if you want. Yeah, that'll be fun. Once I've finished, uh, finished with Maya, I'd like to see if I can, uh, how far I can get with Maya. But once I've finished with Maya, we can do a playthrough. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's a Vlad off anyway, Vlad off. Slag launcher there, Vanquisher. So that one's not an E-Tech, so you do get a mixture of launchers. You should do Gunzooka, Gunzooka next. He's super OP. Yeah, there's still quite a few characters I haven't tried. I haven't tried, uh, I've tried Axton, Zero and Maya, so... The other ones that will be interesting to try. I bounced off the cliff there. Kind of have to get used to moving with the extra jump and the extra movement speed. It's easy to move too fast and end up falling off of these little ledges. So I'm trying to get a top near here. Top near launcher if I can get one. So it looks like we've got another slag launcher. 
So that's a top near there, but it is a slag one, so I don't think that's all that useful. Try to get an element other than slag. But that's the type of launcher I'm looking for, a top near. But I don't want a slag one. This toothpick is a good assault rifle, even in the, if you're just using it normally as a weapon and not just for farming, for farming the launchers. I don't think it's so good with the bee shield, but if you're just using, if you're just using weapons without the bee shield, then this toothpick is a good one. And you can combine it with a relic for, for bonus damage as well. So hoping for a top near here. A Vladoff RPG. I think you do get purple or better from that chest. Purple or E-Tech. Or I guess legendaries. You can get legendaries from there as well. But I will settle for a top near. Oh, slipped off. Slipped off, but didn't fall too far that time. Generally, doesn't take too long to get a new launcher here. Whoa, Bandit Suzuka. So I'm hoping if I upgrade some of this stuff, it'll make a difference. Oh, thank you very much for subscribing, Silver Cacti. Let's see if I can climb up this cliff. Oh, I slipped off. Definitely with this, with this particular shield and assault rifle combination, do have a much more floaty, floaty feel to the jumping. So after I get this launcher, I'll get a new Harold. And uh, what level's my B shield? I think my B shield was OP5. Yeah, OP5. So I'll pick up a new B shield as well. We'll go through all of the usual gear, upgrade what we can. Oh, we've got a couple of launches here. Hopefully, we'll get a top near here. TDR launcher and a flame top near. Here we go. OP7. So that'll do us. That'll do. So let's drop this uh, slag top near. We don't need this. Pick up this OP7. Flame top near here. And that'll be good, good enough. 
we can continue. So we can save quit from here. Now let's go and pick up pick up a herald and a bee shield. We'll jump back to Sanctuary and we'll drop off our toothpick and uh, retainer. I made a mistake somewhere along the line and ended up losing my toothpick. I accidentally sold it or dropped it. So I really want to be careful I don't end up losing this one. I'm going to go for double penetrating Harold. I'll probably uh, pick up whatever OP7 one I find first. It would be would be nice to get the get the uh, double penetrating one, but I think I'll just uh, pick up whichever OP seven one comes along first. I might get an OP six or five, but I'll keep going until I get that OP seven, whichever one comes first. I have picked up one double penetrating before. But never, but that was it, just one. And I wasn't farming for it, I just it just came up. Oh yeah, I have to unequip these items first. Which means I'm gonna to have to drop something else. I recommend getting a cat class mod. I was lucky enough to find this uh, legendary cat class mod. So I've been using this one at the moment. If you're using a lot of SMGs, yeah. I have been using the uh, Sandhawk in the Digistruct Pig mostly. So I've been using this legendary one that I found. Yeah, I was lucky to find this one. Found this one at the uh, with the uh, tubbies behind Ellie's garage there in the dust. Let's find something to drop. Okay, so this slag bone shredder, I don't think I need this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Hmm, Let's take the toothpick on, we'll put our sandhawk back on. Pimpernel can stay there. We'll throw the B shield back on as well. So now we can stash these items. Definitely want to keep these two items so I can keep farming for a new launcher when I need one. I had to farm for years to get one at the wildlife preserve, but it had only like 67%. I don't know how yours is like a doubled. Oh, the SMG gun damage. Yeah, it could be, could be related to the level. This is level 69, so could possibly be if you, if you have a lower level one, you might get less SMG gun damage. So yeah, I was, I was lucky to get this one. I wasn't even farming for it. I was just going through that area behind Ellie's garage to do a mission. And I ended up, uh, ended up just getting it. Might as well check the shops here. Get these health shops. Green booster shield. And a blue absorb shield. Mine was level 80, but if you want a replacement, go to the survival area at Wildlife Preserve survival area is that near the uh, is that near the spawn point was that further along I 
With the Cape class mod, I recommend using the Sandhawk NB and a Hyperion bitch. I have found the bitch a couple of times actually. Not sure if I made a lot of use of it, particularly with the B, so it might be interesting to try, try it out with the B. I guess that would be a nice combination, the B, the bitch and the and the cat class mod together. So let's just check what we're using here. Let's throw the flame. Impanel. And the flame bone of the ancients. And the magic missile, that'll do. I usually use a Norfleet bitch and grog nozzle and sham. Yes, I found. Oh, I got I got one Norfleet with the tenth uh, anniversary items they were they were giving away with the codes. That's the only Norfleet I found. I didn't realize how useful the Norfleet was for farming, so. I ended up selling it, but I probably should have kept it and used it for farming. But yeah, it does, it does seem to be very nice, the Norfleet. really hard to get. You have to defeat Hyperius who's a really hard raid boss. Hyperius. I don't think I've tried Hyperius. Which DLC is uh, Hyperius on? Captain Scarlet. Oh, I, oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't, don't think I've tried Hyperius. It's in the junkyard area. Right. Yeah, I haven't tried that particular raid boss. Welcome to Dr. Zed's portable clinic. What can I get for you? Two words, my friend. No refund. Okay, so that's how you get the North Fleet from there. Yeah, the only the only raid boss I know how to beat is the uh, Pyro Pete. I know how to cheese Pyro Pete, but that's about it. Don't really don't know how to how to beat any of the other ones. So, is there a trick to beat uh, Hyperius? I know the trick for Pyro Pete, but none of the other ones. But certainly Pyro Pete's a good one to farm for uh, Seraph Crystals. I don't think Hyperius has a cheap spot really. It can be one shot by zero though, right. So like with zero's boar skill, you can one shot with Zero's Boar. I mean, Maya has the, uh, yep. Yeah. Maya has a skill similar to Zero's Boar, so she, may, she might be able to do it, maybe. So 
So nothing that time. So what is it called? Chain reaction? Yeah. So Maya's chain reaction is kind of similar to Zero's bore, so... And she might be able to do something similar. Guns! Glorious guns! Now, you ain't a stickler for seatbelts, airbags, or engines that don't go boom and push Might as well try for an upgraded uh, fastball as well. That's something that I didn't try using. I haven't tried really using the fastball with Digistruct. Here we go, we've got a corrosive fastball, OP7. That'll do, I'll take that. Yeah, that is nice. So we've got, uh, let's see here. So that's the new one we got, OP7 Corrosive Fastball. We had an explosive OP5, so we can retire this one. How much space have we have? We've got a bit of space. Hello, Phase Flaky. OP7. Yes, we're OP7. Trying to get some... Upgrade our stuff a little bit here. See if we can get up to OP8. I know, it's an, it's an old... Old Magic uh, missile we've been using for... A, a long time, but... I'm only using it for slagging, so... It's okay. That's something else I could upgrade as well. anything it is a pain to go all the way through tiny tina's dlc to get to the handsome sorcerer so i see why yeah it is a hassle Almost dead. I can fix that. there is another area in the dungeons on Tiny Tina's that spawns the uh, that spawns the wizards so you can get like a two times magic missile there I think those are the two main areas to get the magic missiles from Handsome Sorcerer and then in the dungeons you can get get, get it there as well But yeah, to get up to to get up to either of those places, you have to do quite a bit of the story mission to unlock those areas. So it's a bit of a hassle, but it's it's very convenient for slagging to have to have a magic missile. I like it. I love my powers. So we're not getting anything to drop here. But now that I have access to those areas, that's another option as well. I could I could uh, farm for a new one. Having an on-level one is quite useful in that you can you can use it with a grog nozzle, so you can heal from behind cover because it's a, like a homing grenade. So that's something I use it for as well. Just to, if I need to heal from behind cover, I can use it that way. So that's tempting to get it on level one for that reason. 
because if it's doing more damage then you can get more healing out of it with the grog nozzle actually I don't need a fastball we got one we got an on-level fastball now so we can continue I was meaning to uh, use the fastball for a digistruct peak but I forgot to forgot to really make use of it it's one of those items that I do farm for when I'm farming for a herald but Silence. I don't really make much use for the use of the fastball Get a bit closer. Can't quite see those icons. Stormfront's my go to. Yeah, Stormfront's very nice. Found an electric chair, which is like a, which is like an even even better stormfront. I was using this one when it was uh, on level, so that's like a even be even better stormfront. But that's something I have farmed for the stormfront as well. So dealing with those. Uh, those those pizza rats with Maya is actually much easier because you can phase lock them so they can't just disappear. I always forget the Lilith DLC has just better versions of other weapons. I never touch that DLC. Yeah, it's it's actually nice. A lot of the a lot of the weapons are just. Uh, Either either pretty much just a reskinned versions of of weapons with not very much change or or better ones. So yeah, that uh, that particular electric chair grenade is a nice one. It's a nice Pimpernel. This time through with my here, I got a Flame Pimpernel and a two Slag ones. So I got this Flame one and then two Slag ones. So I'm holding on to the, the better of the two Slag ones. Oh no. I've got a flame, slag, and uh, shock. Or well, the sandhawks. I've got a, I've got a uh, non-elemental sandhawk, and then two slag ones. Slags are the best for Pimpernel. I haven't really been using the slag Pimpernel all that much. Mostly been sticking to that flame one. But I certainly would like an opportunity to get some use out of the slag ones if they if they are actually good. OK, 
okay this time. Stay still. One less badass. So not dropping anything there. I did respec and put more points into Accelerate, which makes the bullets faster. Yeah, I was hoping to get it that time. We haven't had any of the double... The double Lees, the ones that uh, appear near the uh, spawn point there. So I did put more points into Accelerate, which makes your bullets faster, which is supposed to make the Pimpernel less effective. And I think I can see it shooting at Lee here. It's taking more shots to take Lee down than before, and it must be because... Uh, because of the extra the extra points I put into accelerate. Put the sniper on. Might actually be faster with the sandhawk. Alright, what do we got here? Money, money, and money. No, not that time. I always double check even if it looks like money because the, uh, the legendary glow and the money glow can seem very similar. With the cat class mod and B, anything's a one tap. Yep. Yeah, so I might actually try... I might just try using the Sandhawk with the Savage Lee there. Might be a little bit faster. Alright, before we do the next one, might take a quick break, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 